Good evening, my dear children and parents. Thank you for joining Mind Seed Preschool and Daycare YouTube channel. The story of every Sunday that I bring to you. My name is Arti, and the story for today is Hippo Wants to Dance. Now, who are hippos? Who knows hippos are fat, fat animals who love to stay in the muddy pool all day? Yes, the story is about hippo who said, I don't want to be lazy, but I want to dance around. All of us love to dance, isn't it? It's so much fun. It's so energetic. It's a lovely exercise to do. Yes, we should all have dance in our routine. So let's talk about Hippo, who wasn't able to find a place to dance, you know. So one day, Hippo thought of dancing and he went around in the field. He wanted to sway his arms up and down and move the dust around and have a blast when, you know, an elephant came by who was meditating. Meditating? Don't you do meditation sometime? Close your eyes. Take your breath in and breathe out. Yes? So that is the way the elephant, look at him, closing his eyes and meditating, focusing on its breath in and out, which is where Hippo came dancing. The elephant opened his eyes and said, Don't you see? I'm meditating over here. Can't you go somewhere else and dance? Pippo hmm. was a little sad, but he wanted to dance. So he moved to another place. He went close to the river. The river that was passing by. Yes, Pippo would love water. And he wanted to do some splish and splash with his legs and hands. And so he dipped into the river to have some dancing fun. Which is when a crocodile came by. And the crocodile said, Shh, silence. I want my water to be still. Now, crocodiles. They all live in the river. And have you seen that river? It's absolutely still and silent. Very quiet. So that if a crocodile finds a fish, it can quickly grab it as its meal. So once again, Hippo wasn't allowed to dance in the river and the crocodile shoo him away. But Hippo wanted to dance. So Hippo moved towards the fields. And when he moved there, he had a time of his life. He swayed around, twirled up and down, round and round, and said, wow, I love dancing. This is the best place to dance. But just then, Hen came running and she said, oh my goodness, you almost stepped on my eggs that were going to hatch. Move away, move away. What if they break? What happens then? Do you know that? Oh, oh my goodness, I didn't want to break your eggs. I didn't want to come close to them. I'm sorry, said the hippo. And he went away from the field. But Hippo wanted to dance. So Hippo saw a muddy little pond. And he said, yippee, water again. I love water. I can stay in water all day and keep splashing it on my body. So he takes a dip into the pond. And when he's doing that, fish comes by. And she said, oh, 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 Hippo, you know, my babies are sleeping. Can you just go somewhere else and dance, please? Okay, 
said the hippo. And he said, I will move to the other side of the pond if you don't mind. You tiny little fish, you can stay on this side of the pond. The hippo went on the other side. He was a kind one. He did listen to all the friends that came by. He didn't want to bother anybody. But still, he wanted to dance. So he laid down on the pond, rolling his tummy, plum, plum. And he stayed still for some time, which is when a birdie came by and the birdie said, move, I have come to look for some food, some fish from the pond to eat. Move away, move away. Now, hippo, got up from the puddle pond and he moved on the other side. He was feeling very sad. There is just no place in this big, big world on the complete earth. I don't have space to dance. How can that be possible? Sat on a rock, very sad. Suddenly, it started to rain. And Hippo had water all over him. He started licking water. He started moving his hands and was about to dance, which is when he saw a peacock. And he wondered, have you come to stop me too from dancing? The peacock said, no, I love rain and I love dancing in the rain. Yoo-hoo, let's dance. And Hippo and the peacock danced all evening while it was raining. So that was the story of Hippo likes to dance. Did you all like it? My dear children, do put your comments in the comments box be below. I would love to read them. In case if you have any suggestion for stories, do let me know. I'll make sure I come with that story ready for you and narrate it on next Sunday. Till then, goodbye. Do not forget to subscribe on Mindseed Preschool channel on YouTube. Ta-ta!